Okay, good morning. Welcome back to Yay Math. Today we'll be doing synthetic division and in honoring of Batman's song, how's it go? Again. Good job. Um, no joke? That was good. Thank you, Batman. That was a good Batman joke. Um, this is my, uh, possibly my favorite lesson of Algebra 2. It's definitely in the top five, and I'm going to tell you why. We've done long division, and as you know, about how much of the page did this problem take? Maybe half the page, right. This is like half the page. And so, like, I liken this, the long division method to, like, uh, it's, like, heavy and very convoluted and a lot of writing. So I liken that to my food analogy of, like, it's, like, gravy, like, heavy and sloppy and brown. <laughs> and now I'm going to give you another method called synthetic division that's light and airy and fluffy, kind of like, you know, like asparagus. Asparagus. <laughs> asparagus. Marshmallows. Cotton candy. candy. But marshmallows don't go with... Gravy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Cotton. I never really liked That's it. Not it's just like it's mashed potatoes, but olive oil based, no cream. Why not mashed oh. potatoes in the end? Uh, the sloppy one is sloppy. Jokes. Have you ever made it with olive oil based? You just smash it up and you put the olive oil in the chives and the garlic? Okay, so this is asparagus. Oh, it's asparagus infused olive oil based mashed potatoes. Here's how it goes. Here's how it goes. Notice, whenever we're doing a long division problem, you know that like the uh, the variables and the powers are always the one that's consistent, right? Another problem may have like x cubed plus 5x squared and on and on. So there's always a cubed and a squared and then like a, a variable. And then if there wasn't one, we would have to put a zero placeholder. Mm -hmm. That was what we did in long division. And so the real magic behind these problems or like the information behind the problems are the coefficients, right? So focus on the coefficients for now. Because in a different problem, if this was 2b to the 4, so that coefficient would be 2, this is 1b to the 4, so the only difference is the 2 or the 1. All right? So bear with me for a second and see what I'm saying. What are the coefficients for this top part portion? Listen out for me. 1, two, one three, two, two. negative 2, oh. one. 1, 1, negative 3, negative three. Negative three. Four. 4, 4. Yes, I need to write these, write these down in order, yes. <laughs> these are the coefficients in order. Okay. And this is where we're going to do our problem. Okay, now I'm going to stick over here. And now we need a number that we're going to divide into. Usually put this in this little half box here. So we're going to call this the box, this number here. And this number has to do with the b minus 2. The number that you put in the box is when you set, when you set b minus 2 equal to 0. So let's do that. b minus 2 equals 0. What's b? Two. b equals 2. So 2 goes in the box. Okay. 2 goes in the box. And now we're ready to start. Draw a line with a little space underneath your, your numbers, please. And we go. Watch what happens now. It's like asparagus. OK, so bring down the 1. This is That happens every time. You bring down the first number. 2 times 1 is 2. And you put the 2 here. Add. So negative 2 plus 2 is 0. That result goes here. Zero. A number down here always multiplies by 2, so 0 times 2 is 0. zero. That result goes here. Add again. 1, one plus 0, 1. 1 times 2 is? Two. That result goes here. Add again. Negative 1. Multiply again. Negative 2. That result goes here. Add again. 2. Okay. Hiding in here is the answer. So let's focus on it. Well. The answer is hiding in here. What? It's hiding pretty well. It's hiding pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> Flashlight. 
<laughs> you get me, it's funny. Okay. Most people are like, yeah, he's hiding. <laughs> I get it. The last number, always, always, is the remainder. I like to box it off, you know? I like to kind of walk you to like distinguish it. It's always the remainder? This last number is always the remainder. So when the number here is zero, what's the remainder? Nothing. 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 There is no remainder if this number is zero. But for now, we know that this is the remainder. And what do we do with the remainder? Remember, we put it over? No. Over B e minus, e minus, e minus 2. So that's what we're going to do at the end. Okay, and now if this is the remainder, we go up. We ascend in terms of powers. So if this is the remainder, this is the constant term. And this is the x term. So we could put an x in here. This is the x <laughs> squared term. And this is the x cubed term. We keep going until we run out, you know? Starting from small to big. Write that a little bigger. X term, X squared term, X cubed term. So here's the answer. It's one X cubed or X cubed plus. Okay, we don't need to write zero X squared. So plus X, X very good. Minus one plus, minus one. plus, plus two, two over, B. over. Oh yeah, I did B's over there. Pretend it's X. <laughs> X. I missed two. There. I love being clear. All right, minus two. It's funny, you know. Usually when teachers are unclear, it's like you guys grit your teeth. Like, God. He thinks he's being funny, but my education is suffering. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Synthetic division. Congratulations. Wow. Look how much yeah, easier it is. <laughs> it's so fun. It's fun. So you can do that with any of those problems? Not every. The reason why is because you want to do it. That's a good question. You want to do long. I'm going to tell you. You want to do long division more if the bottom here has like x squared plus 2 or something. Wait, what? So, yeah. so if there's if, like a lot of it there. If there's a lot of stuff, stuff downstairs, it's Long difficult time. to set it to 0. <laughs> Actually, because think about it. If this was x squared plus 2 equals 0, you can't really do it with synthetic because then it would be x squared equals negative 2, x equals plus or minus i root 2. So, long division. If the bottom had something like that, yeah, it doesn't help. Synthetic is good for easy numbers downstairs. Yes. Okay. Let's do two more. All right. <laughs> it's funny, I gotta write these, even though it's, all the x's are inconsequential. All right, yes, we'll have the same number in the box. Okay. Two. All right, let's start with coefficients. Actually, let's do another thing, too, and I'm going to add to what you know. Notice, see it's 2x cubed, something, 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 divided by x. So you can see it kind of like 2x cubed divided by x. What will the answer be? Something so x squared. Square. Square. You kind of keep that in the back of your mind. Wait, what? So you know, the answer is going to be something x squared. Because look, it's x cubed yeah. divided by x. So just kind of think about that. Because that it, it works out every time. OK, coefficientes. Go. Two. 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 Negative three. Negative three. 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 Negative, Negative four. Spare Number in the box. Two. Positive two. Correct. All right, so I lost my voice. Tell me what to write. Okay. Two. Together. Two. Okay, so bring the two down, then you multiply it by the two. Four. Four. It's supposed to be together. It's four. Yeah, together. You got their soul and we're enthralled. Two. Two times two is four. One. Add. Two. One. 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 Multiply. Two. 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 Add. One. Five. Five. Oh, five. Right. Yeah. Multiply. Yeah. Ten. Six. Add. Six. six. 
That's the remainder. Indeed, six is the remainder. And five, and then what's this one? Five X. No, not. Okay, that's a common mistake. Five. People think five. the five is just with x. No, it's oh. just the number. Five is cool. One x. 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 X, x, squared. x squared. If it's positive, it's plus. It's it's, it's negative. It's minus. And answer two x squared plus x plus five uh, plus six over x minus two. Next. It takes so much room on my paper, though. That really is a big thing. This thing? Yeah, because like, it's like there. How big do you write your numbers? <laughs> yeah. Not big. I mean, not like Shana's status. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the cat news names. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. I've got it. That's not a person. Oh, <laughs> oh, right. That's the code name for him. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and he laughs like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's having a like, it out. Three x to the five plus five x to the four. From this angle, it looks like I'm making it up. Hmm. Plus x plus five. No, no do plus zero x. No. This is the problem. Good. I'm Wait. glad you see it. I see it too. Wait. I'm glad so you see it. <laughs> <laughs> I like gold and rainbows and lucky <laughs> charms. Yeah. <laughs> Yo! Right. That goes in the coefficients. Okay. Here we go. Coefficients in descending order. So, three. Five. Zero. 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 One. 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 Five. 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 Wait. Oh yeah. Oh what? Oh yeah. Oh jeez. Can you? It, it's kind of like a no risk, no reward oh, policy. If you get one zero wrong, the entire thing is thrown into disarray. Isn't that nuts? That's crazy. Either it's annoying, or it's like, oh, I have to remember is this. People your age just say everything is annoying. I don't get it. Is everything annoying? Yeah. <laughs> what? So it's annoying to have a bad memory. Yeah. I would say lame. Lame. Everything is lame, annoying. You guys say just kidding and you lie a lot. I mean, you tell me you lie. Like, oh, kidding, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Like, I'm not gonna lie, but like, people say Why that. do you need to say that you're not gonna lie? This, <laughs> don't lie. You, lie so often, right? you just need to make sure that's a Did I tell you my policy on promising? No. I don't promise. I disagree with the concept of promising because when you promise, it implies that other times it may be less true. Understand? You, you should get this. Think about it. If I say I promise, that means other times I may not be telling the truth all the way. So I don't like promising. So you, like you're only promising that time, but not the other time. Yeah. So you don't yes. swear either. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't get this whole like number thing. Honestly. Okay. This th okay. So we do the coefficients. Back to the back to biz. Coefficients three, five. We're missing x cubed. Oh, okay. Zero x cubed. Zero x squared. X five. Okay. Number in the box. Negative two. The number in the box is where the denominator is set to zero. So that means x equals negative two. So this number goes inside here. I'm stupid. All right. Okay. Um, don't say I'm stupid, even if it's a joke. Okay, now, just let's do only numbers. Tell me what to write. Three. Three, Three together. Negative one. Negative one. Negative one. Two. 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 Louder. Two. 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 Louder. Negative four. Negative four. Negative four. Eight. 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 <laughs> there you go. Yay. Negative 13 is the remainder. <laughs> 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 
All right, so we have, now, don't let this get out of hand, right? Number. 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 What do we do? Yeah. Number. We have an extra number. X. So this is the number term. This is the X. X squared. X cubed. X squared. X cubed. X to the 4. It's one less in this case because, again, X to the 5 something divided by X. X to the 5 divided by X is X to the 4. And that's what we have here. And then the next door, they're like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Sorry, Mark's <Mark's> back. Right. <laughs> Morse code. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, for anyone watching, the Morse code for SOS is uh, three quick ones is S, tut, 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 and three long ones is O, bomb, 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 and then three short ones again for S, dot, dot, dot. So if you ever have a Morse code thing, dot, 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 ah, 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 dot, 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 and keep repeating that. Right? I may save someone's life watching this. Marooned. <laughs> But somehow happens to have more scope. Three x to the fourth minus x minus x cubed plus two x squared minus four x plus nine plus minus thirteen over x plus ten. This problem could have taken a lot of time with long division. Oh, it's dead. That would have been ridiculous. Yes. Yes, we're almost done. Okay, that's all. That's all. Thank you. Yeah, me too. It's fun. That's all. That one is fun. That one's fun. Yeah. It's clean and light. Like the tip of the asparagus. Whatever. Okay, so. No, 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 no,